Hello guys, um, today I'm gonna be teaching y'all how to make high quality GIFs for Twitter and I say for Twitter because if you wanna make high quality GIFs for Tumblr is a different thing that I do, it's not the same settings so I'm gonna make another video on that anyway, um, first thing, I am not a native English speaker so if I say something wrong, my bad and um yeah that's it <laughs> okay first thing is the quality of your video your video has to be high quality if you're downloading videos from youtube search the actor singer whatever thing that you want go on filters and click on hd sometimes even 4k my computer doesn't support the 4k format so I use HD, it works perfectly fine. As long as your video is 1080p, is okay. Okay, so then you select your video, you copy the link, and the program that I use to download videos is this one called 4K, 4K Video Downloader. Um, it's free, I'm gonna put a link on the description so you can download it if you want but you can use online websites i prefer this program though because i know that it's gonna keep the quality that i want you copy the link you click here and it's gonna analyze like the link that you're adding you click here on download video and mp4 you click here you click on download and it's gonna download i'm not gonna download because i already have the video that i want so yeah i'm just giving you guys this tip um if you want to get high quality tv shows and movies i recommend these accounts um this one called downloading hd there's also this one called Logolus Pro. Um, um, this one called Movie Desires. Um, it's taking a little bit too long. But there's also this one called Logolus Desires. This one called Logolus Rest. And my account where I post movies and TV shows called um, Exile Logolus. Um, most of those you have to request like for to follow the accounts and mine is it's not like a private account so you can just follow and you're gonna have access like to my website and anyway and I'm also gonna put the links of all these accounts on my description and I'm also going to put on the description how to bypass mega limit because you can only download an amount of gigabytes every day for free on mega and this video will, te will teach you guys how to bypass that limit so you can download more stuff every day and I'm also going to be putting a link on the description on how to get a photoshop if you don't have photoshop I'm going to be putting that on the description and also links of where I get my PSDs. If you don't know what a PSD is, it's basically a filter that you put on your gift to give it more color and to make it look more alive and sometimes it even better the quality of the of the gift. So yeah. Okay, so let's get started. I'm gonna close here and let's go on Photoshop. So first thing you wanna go do is go on file, import, video frames to layers i'm gonna open my video mine is an episode of doctor who that i'm gonna use to make a gif and then this is gonna open um the scene that i want i i did this thing that i watched first so i know already the thing that i want you're gonna use these arrows to like select the part this thing here is gonna show you like the part that you want I just want to make sure that I select the part that I want okay so I selected the part that I want um, usually with TV shows and movies 
I select a bigger part because there's no way for you to select the exact part so I select a bigger part and then I remove the frames later but if it's a smaller video like you can um, select um, the exact part much easier okay so this is the part that I want I'm gonna click on OK and it's saying that it will produce a large document and take a little while because um, I select a longer time but it's okay it's now gonna create the layers okay so it's open um, it's gonna look like this which you're probably gonna find it weird but to fix this you're gonna go on window come on workspace essentials this is um basically like what you Photoshop will look um, if it doesn't look like this, if it doesn't have this part here, which is the important part, the animation one, you go on window and click on animation, so you will show the animation part. And some photoshops, it, say, it says um, timeline, so if it's timeline, you click on timeline, but mine is animation. So the important thing for us to have is are the layers on this corner and the animation here with the frames. Um, right now, I'm gonna do um, the first thing you have to do. To delete the frames you don't want on your GIF. Like, um, I wanna make a very specific GIF from a very specific part, so I'm gonna delete everything that doesn't like fit that part. What I'm gonna do is like I select the first frame, I click on shift and I select the last frame that I want to delete. Um, and then I click on this symbol of the trash can here and it will delete it. This is the part that I want. So this is the part that I want to turn into a GIF. Um, of course it's a long part, it surpasses the amount of time that I can so I need to select like a part that will be good um, okay so um, I recommend your gift being like 30 frames, 35 frames, because Twitter has a limit of 15 MB as the size of the GIF, so like, to, to make sure that your GIF is gonna be postable, <laughs> um, keep your amount of frames here at 35, 30, sometimes 40, but I recommend 35. 30, 35. Okay, so now this is the part I'm turning into the GIF. I'm gonna play to be sure that everything is the way that I want. Yeah. Now I'm gonna change the velocity of the GIF. This is totally up to you. I change from 0 0.07 to 0.09. Um, it depends on what I want specifically. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna click here, pay attention on where the arrow goes because some stuff don't have a name. So you're gonna come here in this lines, select all frames. You're gonna right click on the numbers here, other, and then you're gonna change the time. I'm going to put 0 0.07 seconds and I'm going to press OK. And now it's um, the time to work on the quality 
and on the size of your GIF. First thing I do, I'll keep keep the frames selected. If they are unselected for whatever reason, just go on the thing again of the lines and select all frames. This is important. The frames have to be selected, all of them. Same as the layers. You're going to click on the first layer, hold shift, go until the last one and click on it. They have to be selected, both of them. And this step is also necessary. If you skip it, your GIF will stop playing. It will turn into an image. So you have to click here under, under the animation thing. This symbol here, the first symbol, you click on it. Then you go on filter and convert for smart filters. This bar may take a while. It depends on how much layers you have. So let's wait. Okay, this is how it's gonna look when it's done. Um, your GIF will have just one layer and one thing here. Um, and now it's the time to work with the size of your GIF. Usually on Twitter, people love the square GIFs, which is what I'm going for with this tutorial. But if you wanna keep it rectangular you can definitely do it you don't even have to cut it you should just go straight on changing the dimensions of it Control out i so you can change the dim dimension the image size i recommend a thousand for 563 it's a good size you just click ok and it's gonna resize your gif and you just um, do the things I'm gonna do after this but mine it's gonna be square because I mean I love it square too so you go here in this tool and to select the square you just go come here square and now I'm gonna just make sure that it's very center then I click on this arrow here to check OK and now I'm gonna change the image size, the GIF size because um, if you lower the size a little bit it's gonna make it more high quality but not too much um, the size that I recommend you go Control out i 800 by 800 then you click OK because if it is smaller than this um, the Twitter app will zoom in on the GIF so it's gonna lose the quality so this is the size that I definitely recommend not bigger not smaller this one so 800 by 800 is the size I recommend if your video is lower quality like 720p Keep the 700 by 700 size. Do not change that because lower than that is gonna be awful. And if your video is lower than 700p, your GIF will not have a high quality. That's just the way it is. <laughs> so, okay. Now it's the part that will give your GIF quality. The first thing you're gonna do, you're gonna go on filter, sharpen, smart sharpen. And this is the setting that I use for this. Amount 25, radius 10, reduce noise 0. Um, if your GIF is, if your video is a little less, like, if your video has a lower quality than this one, I will recommend to go to 30, but videos that are high quality, I recommend 25. And, um, yeah, so if your video is seven and seven hundred and twenty p, you put thirty here. But I'm gonna keep twenty five. I'm gonna go OK, and I'm gonna filter again. Noise, reduce noise, and this is the setting: strength ten, preserve details five, reduce color noise zero, and sharpen details eighty. I never change the settings never I keep them like this and I'm gonna go on okay 
Um, your GIF is basically ready to go. If you want to save like this, um, you can do it. But I like to add a PSD, which is um, an, a filter. And I'm going to post a link on the description so you can get your PSDs from where I got mine. Um, but if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. You can also go on adjustments um, and work on the filter yourself in, instead of using an already made one. But I'm going to use one myself. File, open. I usually have to change here to all formats so it shows everything. I'm gonna open a PSD that is already my favorite, is this one. I'm gonna show you guys how to add the PSD onto the GIF. The PSD will open. And to apply the PSD, you basically will come here in this folder, not on the picture, on the folder. And you're gonna drag onto the GIF. And that's gonna change like the color of it. I like this one. I usually don't change anything, but if you need to change the opacity or even to like come here and change one of those things you can but I usually don't change anything of this one and now if you want to see your gift like this you also can but I like to add watermarks because people on Twitter they like to steal your things and post as if they made it themselves so <laughs> yes I'm being petty right now you go here on this T and you click on top of your GIF. And you write your username or whatever thing. Um, I'm gonna write the username of the account I'm gonna post this. And you can change the font, the size. But for this size of GIF, I like to keep the size of the, of the font 14. So if you wanna change, you just select what you wrote and you change the size 14 in my case and you change the fonts photoshop comes with a bunch of fonts but you can download fonts on websites and all that so like for example i change here just so you guys can see um but the font that i like to use is Arial Bold Italic. This is my favorite font. So to change, I'm going to go here, click on Arial, and then I'm going to change here to Bold Italic. And I like to put on this side of the GIF. One thing that happens though, that you always have to remember, it's to come here on the animation thing and like the part of the text is bigger than the GIF, like you guys can see. Um, so you're gonna just drag this to the size of your GIF because if you leave it like that, um, when you save the GIF, your GIF is gonna play and then it's gonna play a part only with the text, so with no image. So you have to make sure to see that all of these layers are the same size the same amount of time and now you can save your gift and i'm going to show you guys my settings you go on file export save for web and this is gonna open and 
I'm going to show you guys my settings. Okay, so these are my settings. Of course, here you have to put GIF. I choose Adaptive. Um, some people use Selective, but I think it gives the GIF a weird texture. Diffusion, Colors, 256, Dieter 100%, Transparency. I choose Mate, None, because if you just choose like um, any of, of these other things, it's gonna add a border to your GIF, and I don't like that, so I choose none. Um, monitor color, copyright and contact info, be cubic, and here you change to forever because you need your GIF to be on a loop. And here you check the size, it's on the size that we need, like 11.82. So that's acceptable for Twitter. And you can play your GIF if you want, like, just to be sure. Like, looks very good to me. Then you just click on save and you choose like the folder of your computer that you wish to save it on. I'm gonna save it on my desktop. Save. Saving. And that's it. That's basically it. That's how you make a high quality gift for Twitter. Um, if you guys have any questions or anything, of course, you can comment. But if um, I don't get to your comment right away, you can always DM me on Twitter. I'm going to leave my Twitter on the description too. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I think this is a bit of a longer video because I wanted to give a lot of good details. But you can always like change the velocity of the video so it can go faster <laughs> anyway i hope you guys liked it see you guys next time